Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful night. It is a beautiful one here at RV Nation in Ohio. And I have an awesome fifth wheel for you. It is definitely a luxury fifth wheel. This is the Cedar Creek 37.7 Suite. And I think you guys are gonna love it. The floor plan is awesome. It's got this nice like rear living setup with a mid bunk or mid office, depending on if you're you know, just a couple kind of traveling around or if you got some kiddos, really versatile setup with a loft above it. Uh, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. If you wanna see the specifications, things like you know the length, the height, the weight, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff, you'll find that down in the description of this video, along with my contact information. So if you wanna to talk to me about pricing and see if it makes sense uh, to purchase from me, we ship nationally every single week and I would love to hear from you and tell you a little bit about why. But um, yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys find some value in it. And if you do, if you could consider hitting that like and subscribe button for me, you know, I greatly appreciate it. But let's go ahead and dive right into it. And again, it's the 2023 Cedar Creek 37.7BH. And man, right when you walk in, this thing has the wow factor. It is absolutely stunning. So new to 23, they got away with the kind of the darker browns. I don't think it looked, you know, bad by any means but I don't think it looked quite this awesome. They got modern with the times, got the light accents everywhere. They switched up the island with a little flip up wood block. You can see you got accent lighting up and around all the slides, the island. They also added in the Murphy pantry, which has some hidden storage there. Uh, pretty darn cool. You got your mid bunk or office room, like I was saying, which we'll get into that more here in a little bit. Bedroom, bathroom up that way, control panels here you know, and then your loft, but that's kind of like a little sneak peek to see if you guys like it. Now I figured what I'll do is I'll kind of start on this slide and work my way around, but you can see dual opposing slides, super slides, extremely high head height. You got your refrigerator, oven and TV. Then you got your seating slides right over here, you know, with your dinette and your, um, your theater seating. But, um, check out the head height on this thing. I'm six feet tall for reference. I'd put that probably somewhere like around 6'9", 6'10". So really nice head height for the slides. And what that lets you have is these nice open windows. I mean, check that out. Each one of them opens up for a nice cross breeze. So you can let in some really nice, good natural air floating through here. They also come with the day shades and the night shades. So you can get your Dracula on and block out all the sun. They're also gonna be tinted. Right here is going to be uh, your dinette. There is like a little part that you can pull out. Oh, snapped in. Oh, let me unsnap that. We're getting it prepped up. I sold this one, got some customers coming here this weekend. But you got that little extension you can put there. There are two more chairs as well, which are currently underneath the bed as we're getting it prepped up. But sit there, have some breakfast, play some cards, you know, have a good old time. You got a couple controls right here for your second awning. So that's gonna be right off of this slide. That's where you're gonna control that, extend and retract, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, even though you have a digital control center where you can control everything on this camper, they also all come with the manual controls. And anytime that you see uh, this little up and down arrow, that means you just push and hold and it's on a dimmer. You also get the universal C and the USB. There's gonna be you know, your theater seating, your recliners. So you get your two cup holders, a little place for some controllers. And then on both sides, you, know, you got your extend and retract. And you can also see there's a little USB port right there as well to charge up your devices. Coming right off the back, not only do you get some additional overhead storage, but you get three really nice windows. Again, they all have the day and night shades and they all open up for a good breeze. This side one right here is going to be an emergency window, so you can pull, push, and pop, you know, and you can get on out. This sofa back here, not only is it comfortable, but it does pull out to make a queen-size bed. It'll butt, you know, just right up against this island. Um, and if not, you can see you got plenty of space for that rainy day. Right here is going to be your entertainment section. So you get a nice, good-sized TV that's on a swivel, so you can move it around. You also got the wood block accent just to kind of make it a little bit nicer looking. And you can also put a couple, you know, decorative items or maybe a little mini DVD player. You get a small fireplace, uh, which here, I'll throw that on. But that thing gets absolutely cooking, goes up to hundred degrees, puts out 5,300 BTUs of heat. So it's definitely more than enough heat 
to power the entirety of this room, you know, on a day where it's like today, you know, it's like 50 degrees outside. Uh, that'll be all the heat that you need. You don't even have to kick on the propane. So pretty darn cool. Like I said in the introduction here, uh, what's new to this year, you got the travel lock. Just lift that up and flip it. Push that to the side and you get all this great storage. So there's no wasted space. Again, that's new for the 2023. But, you know, check that out. You, whether you want to store some food or some stowaway items or, um, you know, maybe some books and magazines, you got plenty of extra storage. And I do like how they put this on a little bit of a lip right there. So anything that you do put, you don't have to worry about, you know, kind of rattling around on you. You got an outlet right here. Down here, you're going to have your cable hookups and your satellites. That way you can feed it into the TV. And under that, it's just a couple cords, you know, some maintenance items. And then... Um, 7-inch Furion box. I'll show you that on the outside portion, but uh, a four-camera safety system, you know, which is always nice. And then also standard now is going to be the tire pressure monitoring system, which is super awesome. You know, you don't have to worry about those blowouts because when you're driving down the road, if it's heating up too fast or losing air, you know, something's going on that's maybe, you know, a little bit sketchy. Um, you know, it'll start beeping at you, yelling at you and tell you, you know, what's going, what's going wrong. So I think I'll do this island here and then continue on with that oven. Uh, but you have a really nice size oven. They actually widened it up a little bit. So it's a little bit bigger. And then of course, you got the solid surface countertops. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry, the wife's pulled over. She's got some car troubles. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Looks like we got to get a new tire, but that's okay. Grandpa came in to save the day since I'm an hour away. Got yourself an outlet. Again, the accent lighting. This is pretty darn cool. This actually flips up and it'll stay there at those little legs. Uh, but makes a nice little, maybe like a breakfast counter, prepping counter. You know, put some drinks, put some foods, you know, or whatever. You know, you're good to go. Again, the really nice high tall slides with the accent lighting. You got your nice oversized insignia microwave. Get the packing tape here. And then storage all up and around. Gonna be the same both left and right and then you'll notice my hands aren't holding that up those hinges hold it up which is a nicer little higher end finish there you also got the soft close new backsplash for 2023 you're also going to see outlets and outlets and again the solid surface countertops on both sides of the industry's largest oven this is the insignia I mean, check that out we just had Thanksgiving you know not that long ago but you could definitely cook you know turkey in that bad boy Absolutely no problem. You also have your four stuff. I just kind of skipped over the island. Well, that's okay. Got the wife's tire going on. My brain's not working fully, but hey, it is what it is. Four stove top burner. Storage, both left and right. Brain's all up in a fog. More storage. And then back to the island where I was initially going. You got your dishwasher. So who doesn't, who doesn't like to do uh, dishes, you know, in a camper? I sure don't. Throw it on a dishwasher, bada bing, bada boom, you are done. You also got that nice storage right there. Your stainless steel double undermounted bowl. Say that three times fast. You also got a couple drying racks right there. And then your high-rise faucet. Hitting those dishes from all angles. And then underneath, you do get some access to your plumbing and then some additional storage, you know, as well. You're also going to get here in the Cedar Creek Aruni is this absolutely massive insignia residential style refrigerator. So not only does it look good, but you know, it's going to be very similar to uh, the one inside your home. Now we still have the packing stuff in here again, getting it ready to prep up. But as you can see, there is enough room, you know, for a week's long groceries. Absolutely no problem. And then you got the freezer that has the two drawers. This one pulls out. This middle section you can switch around or take out if you would like. And then you also have yourself a little ice maker as well. Give you one more little look here. Forgot to show you here too on the uh, ceiling. They changed up the light fixture. You got kind of that prism looking fancy thing right there that looks all nice. The wood block accent. And then you do have... Uh, a fan again to keep the air circulating. So now that we've seen the main area, uh, this is going to be, you know, kind of that office or the bunk room again if you have kids. So you have a pull out sofa in here, which will pretty much, when you pull it out, take up most of the room. 
uh, but that's nice if you ever have guests for sure. You also have a window, not only for a good view, but as an emergency exit in case you do need to get out. Pull, push, pop again, you're good to go. Your day and night shade, flip it on around. Some pretty good walking space here. You know, I'd probably put a little TV in there, make a little movie theater room myself, you know, if I didn't have four kids. But um, get some really good storage in here. Got a countertop. You got all the different outlets that you need, your USB, Universal C, two outlets, two more outlets, cable hookups, nice and backed if you want to put a TV right there. If you need extra storage, got a little hanging rack right there. And if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Two of those pull-out drawers and another outlet. And just for reference, again, like I said, I'm six feet tall. So I'd probably put that like around six foot one, six foot two, you know, something around there. So back here is going to be the main entrance right when you walk in. This is the first thing you're going to see. You got the thermostat, the control for your fan, your solar charge controller for the solar panels that are up top just to let you know that you're work that they're working. As you can see, they are not currently because we are inside the building. You know, there is no sun, but normally it would, you know, bright up nice and green for you, letting you know that it's charging up the battery. This is going to be your control center. So you can do it all here digitally or again, manually on those little side clickers. And you do have those up and down arrows. So I'll show you that right now. So I just turned off that backside. Click. Now you hold, you see that it's dimming down. And you can keep holding. And it'll start, uh, I guess what do you call it, undimming? Yeah, getting brighter. <laughs> but you can control all your lights here from one area. Your HVAC, so your living room and your bedroom. With your heat pump, so between the heat pump and that electric fireplace, you really shouldn't need uh, too much propane unless on those really cold days. This is where you control your slide and your awning. And then your setting where you have your mobile app. You can control all this mobily, change your screen brightness, um, you know, all sorts of good stuff. And then your home screen where you can turn off the master lights, make sure your battery is looking good and check all your tanks. So that'll give you the levels and percentage along with your water pump, you know, and your take heaters. Right down here on the floor, you're going to see it's got a central vac system. Uh, so you can just put your foot there, flip out all the dirt, you know, you're good to go. You also have your fuse box, so if something's not working right in there, it'll glow up nice for, for you, so that way you can check that out. Little night light on the wood block stairs, going up into the hallway. Get yourself a grab handle. Another window for a breeze, you know, or uh, just a good view. And then you got a tight little staircase right here with a grab handle. Uh, but you got your loft, so you have a couple different, um, you know, you have outlets there in the far back. You got a fan right here. Cable hookups along with an outlet, uh, but if you, you can either use this for storage or obviously for kids. You know, pretty nice feature for sure. Your manual control. Brings us back to the bathroom, which is pretty darn good size for a fifth wheel. You can definitely sit down and do your thing. Uh, this is also going to be the porcelain throne. You got your two, uh, you know, hanging rods there with the little, little octopus fellas waiting for you to hang up a towel. Sitting there looking friendly. Four of those little cubbies for storage. You have the Tri-Glide glass series here for the shower, so even a big guy like myself can fit into this. So three pieces of glass. I usually like to unhitch that and push it over onto that side. But, um, I mean, check out the shower, too. You got one of the fanciest shower heads I've ever seen. Sit down, shave your legs, you know, or let the hot water hit you. But check this out. Four ports where water comes out. So you have right here, you got your hand wand. There and there. I mean, does not get much nicer than that. That's got to feel great. I would test that out, but I'm afraid that would be weird at work. That bowling arm, still getting used to the new ball. Last night, I bowled a 144, 178, and then a 245. Finally got my head out of my butt and started bowling good. Now, been a rough couple weeks for the old bowl skis. This is the control for your Truma Aquago, so your hot water heater. You can put it on eco mode, 
you know, or uh, burn your skin mode. There's a couple different ways you can do that. Play around with it. Outlet, backsplash, again, solid surface countertops. And you got this little sink that is, you know, angled down. They say it reduces splash or eliminates it. So I think that's pretty cool and it's definitely fancy. Accent lighting, access to plumbing and more storage. And that brings us into the bedroom. I mean, check out that bed. Doesn't get much bigger than that. And you also have outlets on both sides, left and right. Windows, both left and right with a little perch where you can put a couple items in there, maybe books or your cell phones at night. But both windows, again, open up. And each side features the USB and the Universal C there as well. Underneath the bed, oh, some pretty good extra storage. There are those two chairs I was referencing. You know, so that's nice. Crossing the bed right where it should be. You got yourself another Insignia TV. These are all smart TVs, by the way. Forgot to mention. Uh, so, you know, you can play your Netflix and all that kind of good stuff. Another emergency exit window with the day and night shade. You also have an outlet. Good side dresser, you know, with some, uh, some countertop space. Some hidden storage here underneath as well. You know, maybe for some of the stuff you don't want, uh, you know, people noticing right away. I mean, if they're snooping in your bedroom, hell, I don't know. Dresser with four of these drawers. And you'll see they are on the soft close. Cadet wall heater. So again, more electric heat for you to save up on propane. Use up some of that free electricity there at the campground. Let me get these lights on. This is going to be your closet. Check out how massive this thing is. There is room for a fully stackable washer and dryer, you know, or a combo unit, of course. Um, but to do that, you would have to, there's four screws. You just unscrew that, remove this bottom cabinet, and then we're actually going to install here a dryer cap for the customer and then put the cabinet back in there. So that way down the road, he can put on his own, um, his own washer and dryer, you know, when they want. But you got the appropriate plugins, you know, dryer, washer, hot and cold water. And then obviously you got a ton of storage ton of floor space in here for a closet, you know, very residential feeling. And then you also have, you know, a hanging rod for some of your hanging items. And then as you come here, you also have your King Wi-Fi extender, you know, with 5G capabilities, called like a Verizon or AT&T or something, you know, connect that up. You got internet on the road. But yeah, I mean, I'm standing inside this closet and I'm not a small dude. I mean, six foot, 303.8 pounds. Working on losing the weight, but that's where I'm at right now. Dedicated AC back here also has the dump valve. So if you like to sleep really cold, open that up. It'll disproportionately pump all the air, you know, right into here. But uh, I think that about wraps up here the inside portion of the store, guys. Again, it's the 2023 Cedar Creek uh, 37.7BH. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys hit that subscribe button for, you know, future content. If this wasn't your camper, maybe something else is. But yeah, now I'm going to go around the outside. It's been only a couple minutes to show you, uh, you know, really where everything is. Entry steps here are going to be the solid surface that fold up into uh, the doorway. They're also going to be the kind of that easy glide or easy spring, whatever you want to call it. You can see you don't have to worry about it falling and bopping your head. It's a really nice safety to feature to have a little bit on the higher end camper sides. You know, we'll start getting into that. You also got the laser cut uh, Cedar Creek design extra large grab handle. This is going to be one of the four cameras. So right here above the door. Again, if you're looking for specifications like the awning size down in the description of this video, but you got a massive awning with the led lights. This is going to be your outside kitchen setup, which I won't show you this. I don't have the griddle uh, hooked up, but you got that you fold and flip and you can put your griddle right there. You got an outside, uh, refrigerator fits a 24 pack of apple juice no problem little spray port couple outlets massive pass-through storage with a little maintenance section right there with kind of mapping it out outlet and cable if you want to hook up a tv around here you also have the slam latch doors and they're actually metal uh, so they're you know much much sturdier you know you can actually slam them you know and they're good to go so that's a pretty cool thing to have Dual propane tanks, uh, auto level, six point auto hydraulic leveling. You also have a leech latch there for your furry friend if you are uh, dog friendly or one of those people who put your cat on a leash. New decals. 
Here's going to be your second awning. It comes right off the slide, so it just gives you more shade. Again, you do have the tire pressure monitoring system on your dual axles on all four tires. And, uh, you know, that's nice. It comes with its own little monitor. That way you can rate that. Again, we'll tell you, start beeping at you, yelling at you. If you're losing air, getting too hot, running a little bit too speedy, you know, things like that. You got a hitch with the 300 pound weight rating, fully walkable roof, and you can get on Lippert, get the Lippert on the go ladder. You attach that on there and then you can drive, get, or not drive, Jesus Pizza. I certainly hope you wouldn't drive with that. Uh, but you put that on, get on top of your fully walkable roof, check your seals, check your slides, do everything that you need to do. You also got the rear camera right there. So that way when you're driving down the road, you can see what's going on behind you with distance markers. These three slides are eligible for slide toppers. If you choose to add those, it's basically a piece of awning that goes from there to there. Runs you $700 a piece, uh, but they're nice features to have. You also get your frameless windows looking sharp. And then underneath here, you got your fully enclosed underbelly, your low point drain. And let's see here. Got your fresh water drain is going to be right there. And I think your sewer. Yep. Okay. So there's going to be your drains real nice and easy. Back end of the hot water heater, back end of the pass through storage where you have your easy cord reel. So with the click of a button, you know, you can get the cord reeling in for you. You also have your docking station with some of your different valves, your battery disconnect, your outside shower with the hot and cold water access, front cap lights, all the different like dry camping stuff. I mean, you know, you'll get into that when you do your demo. Cable, satellite, water hookups, black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. And uh, yeah. Place for your battery and some of your maintenance there for your hydraulics. That's where the auto level control is. And this is going to be the front storage as well, whether you want to put a generator in, you know, or just take advantage of all that space there to put your stuff in. On both left and right front, these are going to be the side cameras. So when you're driving down the road, you have a nice clear view. Well, this way, nice clear view. But all right, guys, again, this is the 2023 Cedar Creek. 377BH. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a good night. See ya.